The more successful she is at intimidating people, the faster she's going towards her own death. DC, we'll just make it 15. <laughs> okay, not so intimidating on that second time, are you, Nadia? Okay, so she's still alive. Maybe not for long, but she is still alive. She's close. God, close. imagine that. Like, imagine that like, we arranged an entire thing to get her, that we had everybody, everything ready. My friend, she died like five days ago. That'd be crazy, man. That'd be wild. <laughs> Turned out Bethany actually murdered her as a side gig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she just walked. Had to go. Had to go. Is there anyone else? Is this gonna get pinged? Hmm? It shouldn't. What is the music. No, no, we definitely have used this before and it, it yeah, not, yeah, I think so. it. No. We've definitely used it before. Can confirm. God if it does, then fucking hell. <laughs> Traitorous bastards. I can give you a hint, but that's only if you guys want it. Yes. At least I can say yes. Everyone else? I will say it's something you guys have heard before. So it's not even that's much of a hint versus me just reminding you of it. <laughs> yes? I got one yeah, yes. yes. Two. A reminder? Sure. <laughs> Back when Acer talked to you guys about Nadia in the first fucking place, he said that he and the others, other criminal factions, had a plan. The Envoy, the Cerulean Tears, and stuff like that. That plan had to do with, as you say, keeping the power of vacuum or not per not allowing for a power vacuum, which is a stuff takes the prodigal's place. But there's more to that. It's not even just because that they take their place. It's more over that they aren't entirely gone in the first place. They're just not called the prodigals, or they aren't they who they are anymore. They're they're homogenized into a different group. Into the rest of the factions, correct? Yeah, because I think his original play was. Not even going at the prodigals as a full group, but taking them apart piece by piece and convincing yep. the different people to move. Correct. I remember that now. Mm. Yeah, Bethany mm -hmm. and Nadia won't be able to kill an immortal and another serial killer assassin and an accordsman and Nathaniel. But you don't need to have them face all of them. That's the catch. How do you kill someone who's basically confirmed unkillable? You guys have seen the Dragonfly literally carve open Imura and and the fucking uh, Oni Overseer. The Akorazman has his own reputation of ill repute. Yeah, it's like, yeah, the other side pre seems pretty stacked. That's why you gotta unstack them. What was his suggestion of unstacking them? Isolating them and picking them off one by one. Mm he -hmm. was recruiting them. Oh, recruiting ah, turncoats. Them. I had completely exactly. forgotten about that. The dragonfly is only there because she wants power. I say she, he, they it's... want power. Heaton doesn't give a fuck. He's crestfallen. <laughs> the Accordsman can be persuaded to work with a different criminal organization. The catch is he wants to work with what he perceives is the most effective one in this city. So... Just unstack them. Oh yeah, there's Ringo too, but no one cares about Ringo. <laughs> he can Ringo. Go. Okay, so, so that, that's my hit. 
you guys are thinking about drawing in a lot of big powers from a lot of different places and trying to hope that they'll magically work together against a really impossible threat when you guys could just make the impossible threat less impossible. Mm -hmm. Oh. As is tradition. Mm -hmm. So we go talk to Acer and try to set that up then? In the sense of you guys are going to go talk to him, yes. Talk to you me. guys have to be the ones to go talk to him. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> how how trustworthy do you guys find Acer? Uh, imagine trusting oh. Acer. Couldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> so you guys think that, and you guys aren't even criminals. You think they're going to trust him? Yeah, that makes sense. But then it comes to a position of what Rage was saying of, I don't want to get involved. Well, that's just the line you guys had to draw and be on one side of then. Or you guys could try having Bethany talk to him. She is rather charismatic. Which goes back to, can we trust Bethany? Yeah, can we trust Bethany not to convince him, hey, how would you do this murdering off to the side while I'm in prison? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, well. This oh. is your guys' uh, boat to tote, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I can see her committing the dragonfly for power for the specific. Oh, yeah. Like her thing. <laughs> yeah, like that's not much of a debate. Wouldn't it be so romantically poetic that a zealot serial killer like Bethany manages to re inspire a crestfallen immortal like Hayden? I think it'd be rather romantic <laughs> and scary. Yeah, that would definitely be part of it. It's a recipe for disaster, is what it is. It's only making mm -hmm. more problems. Yeah, and on that note, um, <laughs> you're hop off. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to hop off. So I want to try and be in bed by twelve. Uh, so understandable. understandable. Have a good night. Is next week the same as this next... week? Or... No, no. Uh, I'm free next week, so it's just yes, yeah, every other week. So. Roger, Roger. Yeah, go, I will be go, a get. bit more interested. Yes, yes, I will go. Goodbye. Yeah, get Samuel Jackson's go the fuck to sleep. Go. Yeah, I'll <laughs> go. Have a good one, Chris. I'll send you right now. Night. Go to sleep. All right, thank you. Night. Samuel Jackson, go the fuck to sleep. Boom. Yeah, no, I just feel like we're picking a fight that isn't ours. She gave it the 100. Nice. <laughs> Three bucks for a Coca Cola. That's crazy. <laughs> I kind of want this to go through so I don't feel like I've wasted our entire Saturday, but... It's not wasted. It's no, character it's not development. Wasted. No, it's not. No, I disagree. I strongly disagree. I think you guys are doing good given that it's a late start day and I'm still fucking sick. Well, I'm not sick. I'm just experiencing the side effects. I feel fucking sick. Was a demon say maybe? So what do we want to do about this whole situation? Or do we just... Well, I know what I want to do, yeah. but... <laughs> Mostly asking because uh, Oh has an opinion, but he's also seemingly extremely busy, so... Bills are a hellish thing. Yeah. Just like taxes. Our taxes are worse bills. Extremely related. I clicked the button yesterday and my taxes were done. Must be nice. I clicked yep. the button and screwed up all my taxes and had to have someone else look at them for a minute. <laughs> be like, yeah, you Ooh. don't owe $2,500. You're actually supposed to get $1,400. It's like, how? 
the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so say the least, I'm glad I had. Oh, this is not the other way around. Yeah. Oh, that you're supposed to get 1400, but actually, <laughs> you owe. Yeah. 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 That's a fair point. No. Uh, that's gonna happen to someone out there. I, I get like oh, what six dollars back. <laughs> hey, you don't yeah, owe money, right. so that's a positive. Sounds right. Yeah, if it comes down to, we don't have the manpower without putting us into the situation to try and go at it head on. And at the very least, Raze doesn't want to get directly involved by convincing the other people to leave. And I don't know if anybody else in the group really cares, so... Regardless of the outcome of this particular problem, we have identified a lot of pieces. If the prodigals ever do become a threat directly to the city and us in the future, we have set up a springboard from which to deal with that. So, yeah. That's what I, my takeaway is. But yeah, I think that letting this play out is um, pre preferable. This all got so convoluted so fast. Yep. <laughs> DNA in a nutshell. So we just walk away from it then. Since we're not. That's my vote. Invested. Sure. If we had had uh, more of a rapport with um, Nadia met her, spoken to her, developed some sort of relationship, then, then things would be different, but we you haven't. still go talk to her. Yeah, but yeah, she's, a, she's a doctor. Yeah, but right now she's a stranger. The motivation isn't there. At least for, from racist perspective. There's just some random person in the city. He doesn't see the relevance. Good for that we could talk to her. Let's talk to Bethany. Is it? Well, we we were saying we were gonna go talk potentially after talking to Bethany. So, if you want to go talk to her, you might be able to convince Race. If Race can find some redeemable value in her, then maybe. Okay, she works for the good man. Do we want to go talk to her? Or you can talk to her about waiting and not rushing to her own death. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, I'm so salty. Did you forget to check what, did your taxes get refunded or something? No, I did my taxes months ago. What are you talking about? Of course. Well, actually, that makes perfect sense, yeah. But what happened? They took away the take a screenshot widget from Firefox. That's stupid. Sons of whores. I mean, doesn't Windows have like a snip feature that you can do that sort of it shit does, anyways? It's on his phone. Oh. No, it's 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 on it's on there. It just it's not on there anymore. And that kind of eh, whatever. They have spent effort to make things worse for you. Yeah, it's like what what did you gain from? It? It's like when uh what was it? Google took away the view image option, and then twenty minutes later, someone made an extension to put it back. I asked where the Josh fight's going on today. Hell yeah. The what? So there's like a joke where right, it's not a joke, it's real. Where there's a guy that invited a bunch of Joshes in like a Facebook Messenger thing, and he's like, I'm sure why you're wondering why I gathered you all here today. Because we're all named Josh. And then they set up a Josh fight. 
<laughs> everyone named Josh that he reached out, like they're all named Josh that he reached out to, actually went to somewhere I think in like Oklahoma or some shit, and are fucking attacking each other with pool noodles to determine who's the best Josh of them all. Who's the king, Josh? I think the I winner was like it. was like some four year old Josh's because no one no one wanted to hit them. <laughs> nah, I, I it, dude. Yeah, sorry, someone's gonna win here. It's gonna be me. I'm the best Josh. Punt the child. God, imagine it actually looks like it's set up so that they're actually having a free for all tournament style. So that means they're actually PUBG Battle Royale. Who is the best Josh? <laughs> it's That's just awesome. who takes the most noodle wax and it's just like, okay, I'm done. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what determine. I don't know what rules they have for the Josh fight, but I'm happy that it actually is like a. Not only is it a fight, it's a fucking tournament. That's cool. Anyways, full on Josh Pit. That sounds weird. That's it's reference to Mosh Pit. Okay, fair enough. So, I guess the only question Jesse would want you to ask you guys before we head things off here. Do you guys even want to entertain as small or great a possibility as it is to work with Bethany or have Bethany in on this endeavor? I think it's a uh, more so than I care about helping Nadia. I think it might be a way to help her. Mm, maybe. Because it's, maybe some stubbornness of determination from Nadia can help Bethany see some the right of light. Well, and just you know, it's a healthier she, outlet. Well, she was clearly given a purpose by Circumstance. Virilius. So, but the, her purpose is clearly messed up. Oh, so it's like, here's a mirror to look at yourself kind of situation. And just like, well, maybe this is what she needs to help her. Maybe. I think if it's, if we have some level of control, yes. It's a plausibility, but we're relying on Bethany not, like, trying to escape almost immediately. The catch of whether or not Bethany would want to just leave immediately depends entirely upon how many people are observing the situation from an external side. Security, I guess you call it. As well as her, the likely outcome of her winning. Yeah, that's my concern. Um... You guys can help the matter of winning or security, like either of those work. But that's that's a question of how much you want to involve yourselves. Or yeah, if and it would have a problem with such. Yeah, and then it would be one more reason why we're stuck in town. <laughs> I mean, you all have reasons why you're stuck in town at this point. Yep. If we do the security one. I feel like we could mildly breeze through that one. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Catching the same fish twice? <laughs> Tenkaudi, you guys are allowed to go into the prodigal's lair, the chain smoker, like the, the, the casino down there. So you guys could just walk Bethany right in. And Nadia too. If you guys want to get your hands involved in it. I know you don't, for the most part, but would certainly make things a lot easier. Or you just talk to Heaton and the Dragonfly and them and get them to help walk people in. I mean, they walk in all the time, but where? Oh, Tinko. God damn, he's so cute. So that sounds like a yes towards not confirming that she is going to help, but at least allowing for the possibility that Bethany could help. That's not true. The silence makes me concerned that that is not true. Sure. I think I think a scenario that could be made so that it's 
plausible. I definitely think there's a scenario for that. I think we just have to... That's all I'm wondering. Yeah. It's either outright 100% no or 1% yes. Because if you say no, then Jesse's just got a shelf. <laughs> Bethany here in the tangles. I'm hesitant to involve her because of the potential repercussions of letting her out again. True, but Jess is not saying that you guys are going to. That's not what she's asking. Mm. She's saying, do you guys even want the option on the table? Because if it's going to be like, no, under no circumstances do we trust Bethany to ever help us, then she's not going to bring it up again. Like, 100% no? Alright, God, Don't got to put it on the table anymore. But if it's like, I could see a couple of situations where she could be helpful. That's all she needs to hear. That's a yes. That's not saying you are going to pursue one of those two options. Or three or four or one or whatever. As an option. Correct. It's like, oh, with his uh, predicament of Firefox and snipping the screenshot or whatever. I'd say yes, then. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll, well, I, I, yeah, I don't care. It's fine. Go for it. Fair enough. Alright, I gotta take off. Good luck, y'all. Alright. See you. I'll hop in for that later. I'll order some food first. So, yeah. I think that's, that's basically it, then. Seeing as two people are gone. I think there's a number of ways you guys can uh, help with the circumstance without directly involving yourselves in the situation. The catch is, uh, I think the term directly is the operative term for that, uh, where you guys determine what is directly. Is directly shooting at Nathaniel himself, or is directly just even talking to anyone in this? It's a point of like if we do talk to the other ones to convince them to not work for Nathaniel, then it's not. Ugh, I'm finding a way around it. It's not directly intervening with the prodigals because in the long term they don't work for the prodigals anymore. Yeah, that's true. I draw the line directly at where we are in the line of perceivable fire. If they can draw lines back to us and see our involvement, that's that is my problem. So any involvement, effectively, <laughs> to a degree. You could try having Nadia talk to them. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I think she'd be decently fine talking to Heaton. To be fair, Heaton doesn't care about anyone, so <laughs> it's equal it's apathy. Idea. The dragon fight would be different, though. Could be a case of I killed I killed my brother once. I'll do it again. I'm stronger than him. Work for me. Yeah. Would Nadia want to see her kill her like the dragon finder? Probably not, though. But would she want to hedge her bets to kill her brother easier? Uh, mm. I could see an argument for having a conversation easier, with no. Nadia. And inform her of exactly what she's going up against. If we tell her this is what yeah, you're dealing with, please don't rush in head first and get yourself killed. There are elements of this city that want similar things to you. You could dismantle the uh, deck, unstack it, as you said, Crash. That mm. is a conversation I am comfortable having with uh, Nadia. Uh, what she does with that and what happens after that, that's essentially on her. Is her fate to go run to the end of? Yeah. At that point, she is making an informed decision and we have given her the, t you know... The information it, to make that decision. Exactly. But it doesn't necessarily involve you guys because in Tenkaji she could have found that out from anyone. Yes. Like someone like Acer. She's trying to find that out right now. It's just she doesn't well, no, as of right now, she's just trying to find out where their headquarters is. That's really it. Oh. And then we can tell her, please 
bear this in mind. And if you do, we can tell you where it is straight up. Something like that. I don't know. She's trying to confirm, is it actually her brother and where is he? To be fair, I worked for her last time. <laughs> All right. But, uh, you know, <laughs> dead men tend to learn stuff once they come back. I think that sounds like a good compromise then. Jesse leaves the Bethany thing on the table and you guys can go talk to and she can set up you guys talking to Nadia in the Noble Quarters. Actually, I'm not even sure she's in the Noble Quarters. Uh, right now, there's like a 60% chance that she is. 65. But yeah, nonetheless, Jesse can probably get you guys to go talk to her when she does get back to the Noble Quarters. And you guys can tell her about all her problems. All her problems. Not yours, hers. Yes. <laughs> the assistance of the problems. And if you guys want to offer Bethany as a sidecar to help her, then, you know, maybe. Um, especially if you guys can tell her that Bethany has the capability of making sure he doesn't come back. See, I'm trying to think, what would her pattern be? It's been a while. So, um, Who's pattern? Bethany's or not? Is okay. I'm trying to determine the percentage. Okay, this is a, a roll for percentage for for where she would be as of like literally in this instance, but just how fast well okay it's maybe she's more further back in the timeline than I was expecting yeah she's more further back in the timeline than previously determined Okay, we'll say 80 20 then. 81 and above, she's outside. All right, no, she's in the noble quarter. Simple as that. Mark it down. In the noble quarters. Confirmed. There. Also, why did I make a beeping noise now? That's that then. All that properly notated. I wish I get for lunch. What, what are you feeling? I don't know. I'm, I sort of don't want to order like burgers and stuff like I normally do because I sort of feel like trash right now. I need some Mexican food, maybe. What's something you haven't had in a while? Mexican food. <laughs> there you go, then. <laughs> something yeah. that goes easy on the stomach, perhaps? That's not mm, I'm thinking something like that. Oh, uh, like rice dishes that they have. Like, Okay, I'll get like Chipotle or something. Dude, that's easy as hell to eat. <laughs>
Now we just chill. End of sesh.